Hello everyone, welcome back again. Uh, my name is Ajayi Betty, a graduate student of Legal Information and Forensic Science Institute in Alun University. And I'll be presenting the topic, the perspective of Nigerians on cybercrime in their country. The outline include introduction, about an objective of the survey, descriptive analysis of the data obtained, public knowledge, public perception of hackers in Nigeria, and conclusion. Well, introduction. Technology and cybercrime. Technology is advancing globally, and Nigeria is continually advancing in information technology with provision of limitless, limitless benefits for individuals, businesses, commerce, industry, as well as those who are engaged in illegal activities. Those who explore the internet and pervert it for criminal opportunities are cyber criminals. According to Marcusta, cyber crime has become an integral part of the transnational threat landscape. African names for cyber criminals, well, in Nigeria, Cybercrime uh, cyber is called Yahoo Yahoo, and the perpetrator are called Yahoo Boys. In Ghana, it is called Sakawa, or Yahoo Yahoo. In Cameroon, it is called Paimania. Well, I don't know for other countries, but these are the countries I could get. And now, cyber criminals in Nigeria. Cyber criminals are normal humans like we are. They are human beings. They are, most of them are young youths in the tertiary institution. And this is due to like influence from friends, like trying to make more money or fast money. Okay. All right. Sorry for the. So, types of hacking in Nigeria, we have two main types. We have the normal hacking, that is Yahoo, and we have the black magic hacking. Or oh, the normal hacking is just using technology to like scam people online. Why the black magic hacking is like using spiritual aid to make their hacking skills yield more money. And brief introduction to cyber spiritualism. Olu Dayo Tade, 2013, named the cyber spiritualism. And, and he defined it as the involvement, like procurement of and use of mystical, spiritual, and supernatural powers by Yahoo boys to cast a spell on their victims. Though, through this method, victims become hypnotized and without objection, offer their treasures, money, and properties to fraudsters. Although empirically unverifiable, Yahoo boys derive some psychological impetus why enhances, which enhances the adoption of the strategy. Then, the methods used in Yahoo Plus include Mayewo, which is called inconvertible order in English. Orukaere called magical ring and incisions around the wrist. And lastly, Ijakwa, that is, this is used to solve the internet for profitable sites. About an objective of the survey. Well, the survey was conducted April, May, within the duration of a month. And there were four categories, but for the purpose of this presentation, I'll be talking about two categories. The objective of this survey are to know Nigerian cybercrime awareness, black magic hacking awareness in Nigeria, Nigerians believe in black magic hacking, and lastly, Nigerians thoughts about normal and black magic hackers. Descriptive analysis of the data. Well, the first category I'll be talking about is the public knowledge, and for this section, the questions uh, were asked to like know the level of awareness of cybercrime in Nigeria. The first question 
On a scale of one to five, how much do you know about cybercrime in Nigeria? And these are, this is the result that was gotten. One means almost nothing, knowing nothing about cybercrime in Nigeria. Two, little knowledge. Why three is average knowledge. Four is almost expert. Why fifth, five is expert knowledge. Well, from the histogram, we can see that people, most of, most of people, most of the people that answer the survey, like new average, had average knowledge about cybercrime in Nigeria. While 28.6% almost expert, then 16.1% expert knowledge, and 11.6% uh, they know almost nothing about hacking in Nigeria, then 8.9% know little. The next question is, what is the time for normal hackers in Nigeria? For this particular question, I got 125 responses. And the pie chart shows 89.6% know the time to be called Yahoo. Why 8% think it's Yahoo Plus? The next question is, what is the time for black magic hackers in Nigeria? And for this particular question, I got 124 responses. And from the pie chart, you can see that 83.1% know it is called Yahoo Plus, and 11.3% think it's, it is called Yahoo. The next question is, how did you first learn about Akin? And for this particular question, I got 130 responses. And from the histogram, we can see that most people got to know this through their friends. That's 50%. And 32.3% got to learn it through social media, 20.8% through media. And the last question for this particular section is, how did you first learn about black magic hacking? That's, we got 129 responses. And 44.2% got to know it through their friends. 27.9% got to know it through social media, and 24.8% know nothing about black magic hacking in Nigeria, while 15.5% got to know it through media. Then the next section is the public perception of Nigerians about hackers, and the question in this section was asked to know like the percentage of Nigerians that believe in the Black Magic Hacking Act and what Nigerians think about hackers in general? Well, the first question is, what are the characteristics of a person involved in normal hacking? Well, for this particular question, they had to like give it in their own words and you know, express how they feel about this. And I categorized it into 10 categories. We have the lavish spending, which got the highest answer, which was like 21.5%. No idea, 19%. First stars and criminals, like 13.9%. Always working on the computer, 11.4%. And those that think they are just normal, 10.1%. Those that think they are smart and intelligent, 8.9%. Those that think they are rich and classy, 6.4%. Those that think they are uncultured, 3.8%. While those that think they are self-confident and young, 2.5%. The next question is, what, is, what are the characteristics of a person involved in black magic hacking? We shouldn't mix this up. The first one is those that are involved in normal hacking, while, while this is for those that are involved in black magic hacking. That's called Yahoo Plus. So I divided into five, sorry, 10 categories too. And the first one, the 25.3% said they had no idea. Also 25.3% said they think they are lavish spenders. 14.7% think they are fetish and diabolic. 10.7% think they are fraudsters and criminals. 5.3% think they are stupid and lazy, desperate, and some think they are normal. 4% think they are uncultured. 2.7% think they are weird. And 1.4% think they are intelligent. The next question is, do you believe black magic improves a hacker's success in hacking? Well, for this particular question, I got 114 responses. And 63.2% said yes, they believe black magic improves the hacker's success. And 
36.8% said no. Next question is, why do you think people use black magic when hacking? Well, for this, I got like various replies and I divided into eight categories. And the first one is 29.1% think they do it to increase their success, ra success rate. And 21.5% have no idea. 16.5% think they do it to confuse the victims. 10.1% think they do it just to get more money. 7.6% think black magic is superior to normal, using normal hacking to you know, get people. And 6.3% think they are incompetent. And 5.1% think they do it to avoid being caught. Why 3.8% think they do it to like make their work easy and get easy targets? Next question is, have you ever come in contact with someone involved in hacking? I got 120 responses for this particular question and 36.7% think, uh, sorry, said no. Why 31.7% said yes and maybe? Next question is, do you have or add hackers as friends? Well, for this particular question, I got 118 responses and 79.7% said no, while 20.3% said yes. The last question for this particular section is, based on your experience, what is the age range of people involved in hacking? Well, for this particular question, I got 122 responses. And from the histogram, you can see like 59% think the age range is 26 to 35. 41% think it's 15 to 25. 21, sorry, 21.3% 21 think they said they have no idea about age. While 6.6% 6 .6 think it's 35 to 45, 36 to 45. One 0.8% said less than 15. Well, that was all for the survey. And in conclusion, from the presented charts and tables, it shows Nigerians' awareness of the types of hacking in their country, the use of black magic to victimize people while hacking, yes, which is called cyber spiritualism. Nigerians' view of the Awu boys, that cyber, cyber criminals, and from the chat, people think those involved in the Awu, that's like the normal hacking, they see them as lavish spenders, criminals, fraudsters, and people are always working on the computers. And for the Yahoo Plus, those that use spiritual aids to increase their success rate, the people think they are lavish spenders too. People think they are fetish and diabolic people and criminals and fraudsters. Well, from the charts, we already see that Nigerians know what is going on around them and they, s they know what Yahoo Plus is, they know what Yahoo is, they know the differences between these two terms and they know who these people are and they also have various kind of like characteristics for them and words to describe them. Well, that will be the end of the presentation. Thank you.